Getty singer Melissa Schumann, 33, has accused Backstreet Boys member Nick Carter of rape. The California-based singer came forward by way of a blog post, sharing her story with the world. Schumann completed basic, intermediate advanced levels of improvisation at the Groundlings School in Hollywood and also trained under the direction of Brad Garrett at Scott Sadie Interacting Studios, according to her IMDb page. Here is what you need to know 1. She claims she was raped by Carter when she was 18 He has denied those claims Schumann's candid blog post is titled Don't worry, I won't tell anybody. In it, she claims that she was raped by Carter when she was 18 years old. She describes the alleged incident as a burden I thought I'd have to carry for the rest of my life and suffer in silence. Schumann explained that Carter had a romantic interest in her and says that he had his rep reach out to her label to arrange a phone conversation. Nothing came of the call as Schumann had a boyfriend at the time. A few years later, she and Carter were both cast in a TV movie, and that's when Schumann says she was raped. He didn't listen. He didn't care. He told me, don't worry. I won't tell anybody, Schumann wrote. She went on to detail the night. As for why Schumann didn't come forward earlier, she explains, I didn't have the money, the clout or access to an attorney who was powerful enough to stand up against my abuse's legal counsel. I was told I would likely be buried in humiliation, accused of being fame-hungry, and it would ultimately hurt me professionally as well as publicly. I was focused on building a career and name for myself at the time and I didn't want what he did to further affect my life and future. A day after Schumann's story was published Carter released the following statement. I am shocked and saddened by Ms. Schumann's accusations. Melissa never expressed to me while we were together or at any time since that anything we did was not consensual. We went on to record a song and perform together, and I was always respectful and supportive of Melissa both personally and professionally. This is the first that I am hearing about these accusations, nearly two decades later. It is contrary to my nature and everything I hold dear to intentionally cause someone discomfort or harm, too. She doesn't want to be victim-shamed in her blog post. Schumann posted a photo of a recent Radar Online headline that claimed that Carter had been investigated for sexually assaulting a fan at a house party. She pointed readers to the comments section of the article, which she referred to as victim-shaming. She went on to explain that she didn't want to come forward with her story because she was afraid of receiving this kind of negative feedback. Victim shaming is a core reason why victims don't speak out. The last comment is exactly what keeps victims, like myself, from ever speaking out. The victim in the above article remains unnamed, and I can't blame her. I can't help but feel empathy for her as well as sickened by the lack of belief and support. There is nothing worse than being victimized and having others call you a liar or claim you are looking for 15 minutes of fame. Let me ask this simple question. Who to the hell wants to be famous for being raped? Schumann said that she is scared, but that she hopes that her story will inspire and encourage other victims to speak out about what happened to them. 3. She is married to Brandon Henschel They have a son together Schumann married her husband, Brandon Henschel, in 2006. Henschel, 37, is a dancer who is trained in classical ballet, hip-hop, jazz, and contemporary, to name a few. He has helped train celebrities for their dance roles including Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 3, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Brandon has choreographed major industrial projects for brand name retailers Nike and Reebok, and has been a featured choreographer in many dance television shows and films, according to his IMDb page. He was also a backup dancer for Britney Spears. Schumann and Henschel welcomed their only son, Alan, in July 2010. The two auditioned for The Amazing Race. You can check out their audition tape below. According to the website Who's Dated Who, Schumann previously dated actor Gregory Smith. For she was a member of the girl group Dream You may recognize Schumann as a member of the pop girl group Dream. The other members were Holly Blake Ernstein, Ashley Poole, and Alex Chester. Dream was first discovered in 1998 and was originally called First Warning. After the formation, they joined forces with Sean Combs.
After he saw them perform a private showcase at the Beverly Hills Hotel, he signed them to his label, Bad Boy Records. In 1999, Chester left the group and was replaced by Diana Ortiz. Dream released the first single, He Loves You Not, in 2000, and their debut album, It Was All a Dream, was released the following year. In 2002, Schumann left Dream to pursue a career in acting. Schumann was replaced by Casey Sheridan, but Dream couldn't survive, and the girls went the separate ways after being dropped by Bad Boy Records. The second studio album, which had been recorded before their split was released in 2005, Reality was made available for purchase on iTunes in 2008. Schumann ended up pursuing a career in music, and in 2008, she teamed up with Paul to start the group Lady Phoenix. A month later, the girls welcomed Ortiz into the group, but ultimately couldn't make things work. They disbanded in 2012. Two years ago, Dream's original members announced that they were planning a comeback. The girls released a video of themselves performing He Loves You Not and said that they were planning to release a third album. They took to Twitter to make the announcement, which delighted many of the fans. You can see the tweet below. On October 5, 2016, Poole took to social media to let Dream fans know that the girls had gone their separate ways once more. This is for all my beautiful loyal fans. I hope it brings you closure. I love all of you, but you already know that because we talk all the time, she captioned a video of the announcement. He Loves You Not appeared on Billboard's list of 100 Greatest Girl Group Songs of All Time at 36 this past July. You can watch the music video below. 5. She has done some acting work over the years Had a web series over the years, Schumann has starred in various movies and television movies. It started back in 1997 when she landed the role of Erica Baker in Tiger. She didn't do any acting while with Dream, but got back to it in 2002, starring as Sheila in the television movie Anna's Dream. The following year, she played the role of Shannon Devries in another TV movie, Recipe for Disaster. Schumann appeared in a few more shows through 2005, but then took a 10-year hiatus. During this time, she tried to get back into music. After the aforementioned failed attempt to reunite with Dream, Schumann appeared in a web series called Actresses A Web Series. It's described as an improvised comedy satire of a day in the life of two budding actresses living in L.A., played by Melissa Schumann and Aphrodite Camello.